Hi, and thanks for watching this video. I hope to save you many hours of frustration and stress that I went through. Okay, so I've got the IntelliGel 7U performance case, and I've got the Disting EX, and the way that I've used MIDI with the Disting EX is with the 4HP MIDI breakout, which Expert Sleeper sells. It's got the pins on the back, and you connect it to pins on the back of the Disting. And I use my key step to control the disting polyphonically. Another option for the 4HP breakout um, is made by, uh, by MIDI XO, and it works with the TRS MIDI. It connects in the same way, the back of the disting. It's a 2HP version, but, but it, is, uh, it is TRS MIDI instead of the five pin standard MIDI. So my goal for this project was to instead of using the 4HP breakout, was to just wire my disting straight to the MIDI pinout in the performance case. They're both passive, so they don't need power, and I wanted to save 4HP in my, in my performance case. So this is the back of the disting, and on the current manual, um, page 102 shows, you can see the header pinout is as follows. Pin one is closest to the GT4, text. So you see GT4 MIDI on the board there. Pins 1, 2, 3, and 4. I get it. Not rocket science. So then I looked for the pinout for the case, and I found this from IntelliGel. Okay? Seems pretty simple also. So here are the pins in the top of the IntelliGel case that correspond to their pinout. But you see that the pins on the case go left to right, but the pinout is from top into bottom. So I tried every single combination and wired it all wrong, I'm sure, and I could not get it going. So the first thing I would do is turn your case around, and um, this will also give you a lot of uh, better hand and finger access into the pins. And it also does turn the board around so you can see it right side up. What I went through with trying to figure out which pin was which, because the orientation on the board versus this, this illustration is wrong, I learned that if you turn the image to the left counterclockwise, 90 degrees, this is the correct pinout. If you're wondering which wires I'm using, um, I got this simple jumper wire set from Amazon. They're like 8-inch jumper wires. It's like a pack of 100 or so, and it was like $5. The link is below in the description. They're really nice. You just peel off as many as you need. And they stay together in a little bundle. So this is the part of the video which you might want to pause again. Okay, here we go. So out of the Disting EX pins, maybe write down the colors which you used for one, two, three, and four, and then go to the case. And with this image rotated correctly like this, plug those same ones in to in four, in five, out four, out five. And that's it. And when you're done, it should look like this. Hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.